Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, we're going to do a review of velocity banking and answer the question, can we generate $1,000 out of thin air uh, using this uh, zero cash flow average American scenario? So if you've never heard of velocity banking, have no idea what it is, go ahead and click the link below to Velocity Banking 101. Uh, get a firm foundation and come back here to continue your review and studies of velocity banking. Um, so let's just do a quick review of this average American's budget of zero cash flow. So let's say you have a $3,000 paycheck and your expenses are exactly $3,000, right? So you have a student loan here, $10,000, car loan for $13,000. And these are the monthly payments. And those monthly payments are kind of based on averages. So the average student loan, I think, payment is about $400 a month. Average car loan payment is somewhere around $600 or $700 a month. Um, and then we have the rent and other things. So um, I always emphasize this when we write our budget and do, especially with an expense breakdown. When you do an expense breakdown, you have to make sure that every single debt that you have is listed as its own line item because every debt represents potential cash flow we can recover or, or it also represents cash flow that's taken away uh, from us in, in the current moment, right? So we have $3,000 paycheck, $3,000 saving, I mean, paycheck expenses. And as you can see, if you sum this up, this is $3,000. Now, what would happen, let's say I needed uh, an extra dollar, right? Maybe I had a new extra expense of a, of a candy bar and I need an extra dollar, what would happen? My cash flow would be negative one, right? Negative one dollar, negative cash flow. That's not good. How am I gonna pay for this candy bar? Well, the, normally what the average American do is if they, that person has a credit card, they would charge this candy bar right here to the balance, right? But what's the problem with that? Well, if you're doing what the average American does, which is, yes, you may have a line of credit or a credit card, but that's not velocity banking because it's a myriad of, 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 of several things. So first is, yes, you, need, you do need the line of credit, but you also need to pay uh, the, the paycheck, not, uh, I'm sorry, your expenses from your line of credit, not from the checking account. So what's happening is that if we have uh, a paying from our checking account, we pay this, 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 this. We can't pay this because we don't have the money, nor can we pay this $1 on the credit card because where's the money? Money's not there, right? So if we're doing it the average American way where it's just from the checking account, we're not going to have that money to pay that $1 on the line of credit or the credit card. And we'll be screwed. Our credit's going to be dinged, right? Especially if we're 90 days late on payments. Another thing too is that it might go into collections and you'll be really screwed, right? So in this zero cash flow scenario, if you ever need an extra dollar, you're screwed, right? Because that's what happens with the average American. Now, let me just kind of reset this and we'll pretend that this isn't here for now and we'll reset this balance of the credit line as well. So now... Let's answer the question, how do we generate $1,000 out of thin air, right? So I always talk about like there's two steps to velocity banking or the first two steps. One is writing the budget, which we have. Second one is making sure we have the right tool. So let's assume that this is a personal line of credit at 15% that you can get at pretty much any major credit union, local bank, or even, even the major banks. Um, but let's just say that they allow us to borrow $25,000. And if you don't know what a credit line is or line of credit, it's just basically a financial tool where you can borrow money, pay it back, and then borrow money whenever you want. It's really flexible. So how can we generate $1,000 out of thin air? Okay. Well, if we're going to do it the velocity banking way, what we're going to do is try to eliminate our debts as much as possible put it in the credit line to free up cash flow as much as possible. So I'll show you what I mean by that, right? So here we have a $10,000 balance and a $13,000 balance here. If all we do is just do a simple debt transfer, 23,000 here, 
look at what happens. So I'm going to cross these out. So we move these two loan balances to here. So now what happens? The loan balances just go to zero. Now the rent stays the same because nothing's happened with the rent. All the other things stayed the same, right? Food, gas, insurance, and your income stays the same. But what happened? If, now, if you do a total of our expenses, this is only $2,000 now, $2,000, right? And so it's like we generated, so if you, okay, so let me ask you this. If your expenses magically go down by $1,000, isn't that like generating $1,000 out of thin air? Isn't that crazy, right? And so we're still not going to have any savings, but we are going to have cash flow of $1,000. And the way that we do that is that we're going to put our entire income of this $3,000 to the paycheck. I'm sorry, to the balance of the line of credit. So instead of doing the average American way, which is to pay directly from the checking account, and if we ever needed an extra dollar at any moment, and even if we had a credit card to carry that balance, we would be screwed, right? Whereas here in this scenario, we magically generated $1,000 out of thin air by moving our debts to the credit line and making sure that we pay our entire paycheck into that credit line. So if this is going to uh, put our entire paycheck here, the balance is going to go to $20,000. And then because of our expenses, it's going to creep up $2,000 eventually. And so the balance, new balance, will essentially just be um, the balance minus the cash flow. So that'll be, if I just do a quick Excel formula, H2 minus 1,000, which is the cash flow. And then as you can see here, if I just keep copying and pasting, two, 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 one, okay? It's not, it's even though a zero cat, or the original zero cash flow scenario isn't ideal, right? Let's see how long it takes us to pay off this credit line. Whoopsie, 21, 22. So about 22 months it's going to take us. And so how did we do here? Now, if we're in this scenario with the average American and we have a zero cash flow and we need one extra dollar, we're screwed. But when we're doing it the velocity banking way, when we consolidate our debts to free up cash flow and when we're putting our entire paycheck to the line of credit, I have so much more flexibility, right? It's like generating $1,000 out of thin air. And if I ever needed an extra dollar in this entire process, right? In this entire, even after the first month, if I ever needed an extra dollar, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. But if I ever needed an extra dollar in this average American scenario where we're, complete, we're just paying out of our checking account, and even if we had a line of credit, but we're using it incorrectly, because we decide to charge that extra dollar in the line of credit and not understand how to generate that thousand dollars out of thin air, we're screwed. But that's what we did here. So I hope this has helped you understand uh, hypothetically. Hopefully, you're not in the zero cash flow situation of how to generate a thousand dollars out of thin air using velocity banking. Now, disclaimer: I'm not a fa financial advisor. Uh, or a legal attorney, uh, accountant, don't have any sort of professional license, not giving you any sort of professional advice. This is just for hypothetical purposes only, but I think it's a great learning moment for all of us. Like I had no idea that this was even possible as until I was just kind of walking through the numbers. I was like, dang, this is, this is an insane way of just generating money out of thin air without really doing anything, really. All right. So uh, this is uh, Korean Atlanta Mentorship. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, uh, leave them below. If you're interested in joining our group, go ahead and click the link to the Google form uh, down below. Or you can email us, uh, email us by emailing our email address in the about page of the YouTube channel. All right. Have a great day, everybody. And we will speak soon.